Please rise. The Dallas County Commissioner's Court is now in session for the October 2011 term with the Honorable Clay Lewis Jenkins presiding. Please remain standing for the invocation. And today's inv invocation will be given by Chaplain uh, Mary Wesley. Uh, Mary Wesley is a native of Birmingham, Alabama, and an energetic wife of Howard L. Wesley for 37 years. She resides in Dallas, Texas. She's a job parent of two children and five grandchildren. Mary Wesley is an international traveler spreading the love of Jesus to Africa in the countries of Uganda, Tunia, Rwanda, and Ghana. Mary Wesley graduated from Dallas Baptist University with a Bachelor of Science in Applied Business Administration. She attended Fort Worth <coughs> International School, REMA affiliated. She is an elder of the Potter's House at Dallas under the leadership of Bishop G. Jakes. She's the owner and founder of Mary Wesley Ministries, where she serves as a woman ministry leader at the Bible Study Seminars and Outreach Program, designed to meet the ever changing needs of women, youth, and families. Mary Wesley has spoken at several women's conferences across the United States and is a member of Friends Inc., where she serves as the Vice President of the Outreach Ministry. In February 2011, Mary became one of the first women to become the chaplain to the Sheriff's Department in 2001 for employees and officers and is now attending the Citizens Academy to become more familiar with the department. Mary, thanks for coming and praying for us today. Thank you. Good morning. Would you please bow your heads for a word of prayer? To the almost gracious and holy Heavenly Father, Lord, we exalt your name above all the earth. We give your name glory and honor that it is due. And Father, we thank you now that you have called us to this place at this time. We thank you, Lord, that none of your commissioners nor your county judge calls this plain and common. But they know that they have been called to do a work for the citizens of the county of Dallas. We thank you, Lord, that you would crown their heads with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We thank you, Father, that the Spirit of the Lord is upon them and that they do their work as unto the Lord. We thank you, Father, that their hands work diligently to do all that is you have called them to do for the county work. We thank you, Father, that you cause them to be on one accord for how good and pleasant it is for us to come together in unity. So we thank you, Lord, that they make good decisions today, that this is the day that you have given them to do a good job as you have called them to do. And we thank you, Father, that they belong to you and that all of the people are represented here today. And we thank you that the work will be done decently and in order. It will be done in integrity and with all honesty, justice, and in love. And Father, we pray the peace of God over them today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> This meeting of the Commissioner's Court will be considering items on our official agenda and recess for the court's informal work session and then we'll get the register. No one, no register speakers. Yeah, we won't get the register speakers. We'll get the register speakers. The court will then convene in closed session to consider items as allowed by law. We have two resolutions this morning, both come from Commissioner Mike Hancock. Commissioner, I have two resolutions. I'm not sure that either one of them we're going to give you an appearance today. Gary Falkwell, Greg Albright, I'm, I'll, I'll introduce the one for Gary Falkwell first. He said he has served 25 years with the uh, Dallas Sheriff's Department, and I said, what is that? Close the favor. Aye. Right. The, next, the next is uh, Greg Albright, who uh, was my appointee to appointed the Metro Care Service Board, and I congratulate him when he went off that board. And I was thanking him for his uh, involvement and contribution. And I said, All those in favor? Aye. All right, so our next uh, item will be our presenting uh, agenda. Is there a motion? Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And next one, we'll, we'll all take a motion on the kids. <coughs> so moved. Aye. Uh, next we'll consider quarter orders 
10 referring to section 1116.
that takes us to the briefing session. The Commissioner's Court is now reconvening the public session on recess for the briefing session on items to be considered. Uh, I can, while we're doing that, let me just uh, thank staff. I know Mayor Sherman is here. Um, the Soto Island and Rick Lesbo and Planning and Development and staff uh, with regards to the call of us to second and then as many as I guess three weeks uh, that, uh, yeah, that we, we, we've been able to, to bring forward, uh, as you said, about a $60 million infusion <coughs> to our tax base, about 200, 200 uh, full time equivalent jobs, another 200 uh, seasonal uh, jobs. And uh, this was on a quick turnaround, and I uh, just really appreciate staff because uh, they were making, they were really defining when they made the decisions, and uh, that was uh, probably a couple of week turnaround with regards to the time we got notice. So uh, as we continued to talk about growing the, the base in the southern part of the county, uh, this is two in about three years, and uh, about accumulation of about about 400 jobs and about 120 million dollars uh, easily. So again, thank you, Mr. Westberg and staff, which uh, it's probably him, one more person uh, there, but uh, he seems to always uh, get it done regardless of the turnaround tomorrow. Well, I just want to echo Commissioner Price's uh, comments and, of course, congratulate Mayor Sherman. I know he was very involved in attracting our calls to the area, and like Commissioner Price would say, it's a great, it's a great opportunity grow our tax base $10 million within three years, which are going to be very welcome. And of course, the jobs that I know for the best southwest region of Palestine is a, is a very, very good uh, investment. So congratulations, Mayor Sharon, to you and the council and the board, as well as our staff, Mr. Westbrook, and the other two people. Uh, and to the uh, Convention and Tourist Bureau, uh, I want to uh, thank, thank you. Uh, that project has been two years in the making. It, it shows up today, but it's been two years. We've done a lot of due diligence in regards to that <coughs> project. Uh, we plan to be the site in, the, uh, in, in, in this country. Apparently, they're doing very well in Europe. And so I just want to thank the Convention and Tourist Bureau for, for making sure that uh, Dallas County, I think you did real good due diligence and why uh, this was the proper site and the others uh, didn't quite measure up. So again, thank you very much. And again, to Sharon Brown and her staff, we spent a lot of time and energy uh, <coughs> with this project, but it's coming to fruition. Again, thank you. I'm Philip, it's always great to see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Philip. One of the Dutch commissioners, I don't want human resources to recommend approval of costs associated with annual open and open period to be reimbursed from the Employee Benefits Trust Fund and authorized contract with Infomark. Item two, purchasing recommend Sire Technology that the firm selected for the RFP for the agenda management software system and authorized staff to proceed with final contract negotiations. <coughs> Item three, IT recommends approval of the contract with QNet for professional services to provide data and staffing for the support for the IBM mainframe. Item 4, Public Works, 4A, recommends execution of IDI2 consulting engineering contracts with the firm's listing and briefing for a period of one year with an option to extend the contract for additional two years. Item 4B, recommends approval of temporary license agreement with Hanson Aggregates LLC for East Bank access for the Beltline Road at Trinity River Bridge Repair Construction Project. And item 4C recommends the submittal of application for the Tiger Grant application with the U.S. Department of Transportation. And on that one, uh, I want to say, Ms. Uh, Alberta, thank you. I think it's a great opportunity because I did not know uh, 10 months ago that we have so many projects already ready to go that will qualify for this money. That story to me, uh, not that many people, uh, not many municipalities can apply for it. And, uh, and now we have the opportunity to do this, and I think it comes at a very, very good time. So thank you. And I want to say the same. I really appreciate the diligence with which you look at the current opportunity grants for for college university. And I think all three of them have a, a very good chance of being shovel ready and, and full field to federal government. And I think they're projects that will help the whole community, and that's another really important thing. So thank you so much. 
you that are right ahead of public works, and I appreciate your diligence in coming up with these points. I know that. And just to say one thing, that's another positive benefit of our MCDF program. Because it does, it's that planning that pushes out and that we can respond to immediately. So, that's the reason we try to keep people from raiding certain farms right now. Balance the budget. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, when you can run the crop first, you leverage it later. I think, um, and uh, everything that the program will show, we'll show what we can leverage it because of the plan. I know you just got here. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to balance the budget and, and uh, happy to be able to do it. We have two favorite NCIP programs that we have. And great job, uh, Alberta, because uh, I know you uh, have to do a lot of work on a short time. Uh, so, I do appreciate your, your hard work. I don't foresee reckless in the middle of it. No, I did that one already. I have five commissions called administration, discuss placement of the observation wheel, which Commissioner President already mentioned. Authorize staff to ex uh, execute a memorandum of understanding with GCA and approve a structural impact review of the plaza and cross the review between town share between county and GCA. I'm sorry, Commissioner uh, Judge, I did place a copy of that memo on the diocese that would be what's attached to the portal have indication from GCA they will execute that and send me a signed copy of the plate. Don't make it sound like don't make it sound like we've already there's been some preliminary we'll get our structure right. 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 There, there, there was a preliminary before we even shot. Uh, Shannon, uh, since this is new to the public, could you explain uh, what this looks like? Is this is something that we're doing in conjunction with the, in conjunction with the city of Dallas, or is it a, a totally Dallas County project? Or, uh, just give us a little bit of the genesis of this. Um, Commissioner, uh, back in the fall of 2010, we were actually the county was approached by the sort of by the Great City Attractions and the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, concerning the possible placement at the time, the thought was, could, would there be a way to make that happen in time for the Super Bowl? Um, that was not going to be possible, but um, they moved on to another site to some different issues. Uh, they came back and said that they still felt like Dallas was a viable option for this type of a wheel. Um, it was intended to be educational in nature. Um, they had looked at several locations in Dallas and found this plaza uh, continued to be their number one location. Uh, there was a preliminary structural review done. The staff's concern has always been that the placement of the wheel on top of our parking garage, um, we want to make sure that the county is fully protected. Um, so we will undergo, there was an initial, as Commissioner Price alluded to, there was a, an, an initial study performed uh, by someone that was hired by the organization. We're simply saying we'd like to make sure that we have um, uh, one performed by someone that we hire and we pay so that we can make sure that, that's, that we're getting the best advice possible from the professional engineers. Are we doing this in partnership with the city of Dallas or is this only a county project? Um, uh, Ma'am, I would say that uh, it's while the site is going to be a Dallas County site, the city of Dallas has been involved in the Convention and Visitors Bureau has been very much involved um, and has kept the city involved as far as making sure that all the permitting and the concerns that the city might have, because there were some city locations that were also being considered, have been addressed. So I would certainly say that it's a joint effort between the Dallas County Convention Visitors Bureau and the city of Dallas. But the, but the revenues are... Yes, uh, any funds will come to the general fund. will come to the county. Um, public safety. You know, that has been addressed as well by the city and the police yeah. department as well as again. Yeah. Well, I just want to put on the record. Item 6, planning and development. That quarter was formal agenda. 7, budget. You have any conference travel training requests on item A, item B, hiring and exceptions in the district clerk, county clerk, and juvenile department. And 7C, that quarter was on formal agenda. Judge Commission, that concludes your briefing agenda. There are no speakers listed. That was a crazy easy one. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted to welcome you back. Yeah. 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 All right.
now reconvene in public session and recess. Closed session is authorized by Chapter 5, Chapter 1 of the Texas Government Code.